Hello subscribers and non-subscribers and welcome back to Let's Play Star Trek Online. So, sorry there was no video last week like I had promised in that little bonus episode. Uh, when I, after I recorded that bonus episode, it ended up being the case if I wasn't able to record that week, sadly. Uh, so yeah, that's why there was no videos last week beyond the um, VOD for the Solaris stream from the previous week. Nonetheless, let's go ahead and get started with Reunion. The Delta Quadrant is a familiar one, helping a species to find a new home. A group of Talaxians living in the Entaba system are ready to move to a new homeworld nearby. Admiral Tuvok and Voyager have gone ahead to their main asteroid base to begin the preparations for the transition. The Admiral has requested your presence as well. You two work well together. I recommend you take advantage of his expertise. There's no one who knows more about the Delta Quadrant than he does. Hello. Okay, and we're just gonna go ahead and transorp over there, because, you know, they made transorps free at one point, so, yeah. No reason not to transorp everywhere. And just to make sure the game didn't screw with anything over here. Nope, okay, good, let's begin. <clears throat> Because I know the game likes to sometimes screw with my loadouts. At the very least, saying changes were made. Uh, we've arrived in the Entaba system, sir. Our orders are to rendezvous with Admiral Tuvok on Voyager, setting a course for their coordinates now. Voyager is under attack by the Kazon. Engines are offline, requesting assistance. Okay, two bucks, but that's nice. Of course, Admiral Tuvok. Beam over at your convenience. This base is populated by Talaxians. My shipmate from Voyager, Neelix, joined them before they moved to this location. The Talaxians have been looking for a new homeworld for quite some time. And now, they have found one. Okay, that's... The Alliance's so. history that the relocation of the Romulans will be invaluable in this process. I thought he was done talking, but he's not. <laughs> they just decided to give a dramatic pause. Okay, let's go ahead and hail the base. Starfleet! Um, what a thrill! It's so wonderful to see someone from the Federation again! It's been so long, and, and I keep in touch with my friends, but subspace isn't the same, and I... I think, listen to me, I'm rambling on. My name is Neelix, and I serve as Starfleet. Ambassador to the Delta Quadrant. Before that, I spent seven years on the USS Voyager with Captain Catherine Janeway. Admiral Janeway. She was promoted some time ago. Admiral Janeway. Of course, she certainly earned that promotion. My link to the Alpha Quadrant wasn't as strong as I wanted it to be until the Genola Dyson Sphere opened a path straight to the Delta Quadrant. Now we get all sorts of news, but yours is the first ship to visit. I uh, I made the trip to Earth myself sometime. But that will have to wait until after the colonization. I barely have a minute to myself anymore. There's so much to do. Uh, about that colonization. Oh, you've come to help? How wonderful! I, but of course, Starfleet's always pitching in to help out, aren't they? Well, in all my years as ambassador to the Delta Quadrant, I've done everything I could to uphold the good name of the Federation. I don't always have the resources to do more than diplomatic visits, but we try to help out anyone we can whenever we can. I mean, there are no out there right now. Did you know that my people are helping them explore the stars? 
I'm sure the Federation appreciates your efforts on its behalf, but could we get back to the colonization efforts? Oh, where are my manners? You must be tired and thirsty after your long journey. Come to the colony. We'll fix you right up. But, but, but if I could impose on you just for a small thing first. In the case of this trip, it will give me some of the trouble lately. We've constructed some shield generators to protect the base, but the kids are keep knocking them offline and all my shuttles are prepping for the colonization. Could you react with the shields for us? Of course, Neelix. Wonderful! Just fly to the generators and start the relaunch sequence. It will take them a few minutes to get up to full strength, but that should be a problem. After that, beam down to the colony. Okay, restart the three shield generators. Got it. Okay, that's one down. Uh, a little weird that you only have three because depending on how these work, I don't think three is going to necessarily cover the entire asteroid. I managed to short out the EPS conduits, but I was able to reroute power through secondary relays. Do they only have one set of secondary relays? Because if so, they're kind of out of luck. If it goes offline again. That completes all the satellite repairs, sir. Shielding systems coming back online. Good work. I don't think you're the right person. No. No, you're not. <laughs> Wrong name, game. Wrong name. Let's go ahead and hail Neelix. Thank you so much for your assistance. You may beam down to our base at your leisure. And speaking in my formal capacity as permanent ambassador, welcome to the Delta Quadrant. Thank you, Neelix. Now you got the right person. Yep, let's go ahead and beam down. So good to meet you in person. View screens are so impersonal, don't you think? May I shake your hand? I if memory serves, that's how. Mr. Vulcan? Is that you, Tuvok? Indeed. It is agreeable to see you again, Phoenix. What a wonderful surprise! C come, my friends, we have so much to discuss. As he talks while drinking something. You look well, Phoenix. I got the issue of I can't as do you. walk Family, children, at the same speed as them. Me for the I mean, even if Indeed. I were to actually move to walking, this colony is an improvement on it would be I think slower than them. Like this, I'm faster than them. Completely updated. You should see the kitchen. But you still seek a new home world. Of course, children need sun and open skies. A place to put down roots. Sir, the Kazan returned almost as soon as he transported down. We drove them off, but they got a lucky shot in at the base before they left. Sensors are showing some structural damage in the operations bay. Acknowledge, inform me if the Kazan returned. The operations bay? Dexter was in there! I think I'm still just slightly faster than him. Yes, I am still slightly faster than him, despite him. <laughs> Jogging over. Get us trapped! Please do something! Okay. Let's go ahead and order the Talaxian base to transport Dexa. Dexa's a little dizzy. But she'll be fine. I, I have to stay with her though. I'm afraid I must impose on your kindness again. 
Several of our systems were damaged in the attack, and I can't help fix them just now. Oh, of course, I'll help Alex. What can I do? Several of our systems are malfunctioning. Our communications, environmental controls, engineering, and the controls for the crane loading our ships all have been damaged. It'd be my pleasure. It's actually the thing we can do over here, so let's go and fix this first. what that console was for, it was just a console that was damaged. Okay, this one is zapping everything around it. Uh, seems to be an issue with the... What? The first problem seems to be in the console's power. Okay. Um, reroute power through secondary relays first. Okay. Alter the electroplasma flow. Line the S linear chips. And finally, replace the damaged fuses. On to the next console. Um, okay. Game, you're only giving me a marker for one more. Try a quarter over it, that'll magically fix it. Also, we're still three out of four. Game's not showing a marker for anything else, but obviously there is something else. I don't know where it is though. I don't know why the game isn't properly marking it. it doesn't look like there's any consoles or anything over here. No, it looks like it's just shuttles. They're actually kind of nice looking shuttles. I mean, they're very blocky and whatnot, but I mean, they still look kind of cool. So I'm assuming this mystical fourth console or equipment is somewhere in here. I just got to find it because the game is not telling me where it is, which isn't helpful. makes it a little hard to fix something if I don't know where it is. Don't think it's over here. Hopefully well, the game is not a case of the game bugged out, because I really fucking hate when that happens. Seeing anything else, game. You're not pointing me towards any other consoles. But they're supposed to be four. Woohoo! I mean, I'm mostly looking out for little sparklies coming off of stuff. Turbo lift? Yep, okay. Game, you could have marked the turbo lift. Uh, okay, needs to be decreased in this case. Lock it in. Lift back up, and let's go ahead and return to Neelix. Uh, 
Thank you so much. Everything seems to be working properly now, and Dex is feeling much better. I need to take one final lap around the base and speak to a few people before we depart. Would you care to accompany me? Certainly. Are you following me, Neelix? Okay, Neelix is following me. Great job. Okay, Tuvok's gonna go and do his own thing, I guess. Let's go ahead and talk to the foreman. I need help loading this ship. Menex was supposed to help me, but now I can't find him, and I can't reach him on internal comms. I know he hasn't left the station yet, though. Could you look around and tell him that his shift has started? Sure, I can find Menex. The lack of discipline among the Tuvaxians is alarming. Really, Tuvok. Here we go, he's hiding in the corner doing something. Greetings, friend. What can I do for you? I'm helping Kallax. She says she needs more workers for this shift. Really? I was scheduled to work now, but I traded shifts with Oxel so I could meet a friend who's returning from a long trading mission. Find Oxel. He should be able to help you. Thank I've you. I've known Menix for many years now. If he says he traded shifts, I believe him. Okay. Well, somebody is doing something. Let's go and talk to Oxel. I, I don't believe we've met yet. I'm Oxel, and you must be one of Neelix's visitors from the Alpha Quadrant. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm trying to track down who's supposed to be working the cargo loaders right now. Menix said he traded shifts with you. Th that's right, but then I beat Drexa in a game of Kat is Kat, and she agreed to work the shift for me. You should find her. Thank you. Betting work shifts on a game of Kat is Kat is extremely unprofessional. Oh, to luck. Okay. Well, Drexa is technically injured. Unless there's two Drexas. Hi there. I I'm Drexa. I heard you help save Dexa's life. Oh. Those Kazon are always bothering us. I wish they'd just find some place else to go. Okay. Is there something I can do for you? I mix them up because the only difference is one has an R. We saved Dexa. Okay. I'm trying to find who's supposed to be working the cargo loaders. Oxel said you lost a game of Cat is Caught to him and agreed to work his shift as payment. Oh, yes. That's right. I worked his shift, though. Check the duty roster. It should all be there. Thank you. Dexa never worries about the details, but she's one of the nicest people in the world. Okay. Now we gotta run all the way back across to go and find the duty roster. Dude Ross shows that Drexa did work a shift for Oxel, but she worked Oxel's original shift rather than the time marked for Menx's shift. Okay, let's download the duty roster. Drexa, you worked the wrong shift. Yeah, this mission doesn't involve a whole lot of shooting. Oh, it's you again. Did you find what you needed? I checked the duty roster. Oxel had traded shifts with Menix, so when you did Oxel's shift, you were actually supposed to work Menix's shift. Really? Uh, but I worked the shift that was in the duty roster. Because, okay, they apparently forgot to s switch their shifts in the duty roster. Oh boy. Ah. Okay. Don't go anywhere. Our character is getting a good workout, just constantly running back and forth across the station. Okay, Axel. Did you find Drexa? Yes, and I checked the duty roster. It wasn't updated with your trade with Menx, Menix, and so Drexa did your original shift by mistake. What a goof! I told her I traded shifts with Menix. At least I think I did. Does that mean both Menix and Drexa showed up for my shift? I'll talk to Menix. Wow. They really screwed that up, didn't they? Okay, Menix. Hey there. I talked to Oxen, and he told me what happened. 
Did you find Drexa? Yes, and I looked at the duty roster. Drexa was supposed to do your shift to repay her debt to Oxel, but did his original shift by mistake. But where were you? Oh, that explains it. I showed up for the shift a bit late, but Kallax said she already had enough workers and I could go back to my quarters. Normally, I would be happy to work, but my friend will be back any time now. That's why I traded shifts in the first place. Okay. Don't go anywhere. Still trying to get to the bottom of this. Let's go ahead and return to Calyx. Did you find Menix? Menix said he traded shifts with Oxel. Drexa lost a bet to Oxel and took the shift as payment, but Drexa did Oxel's original shift by mistake instead of Menix's, so when Menix showed up to work, Oxel's shift, you told him you had enough workers and that he could leave. Sounds like quite a series of miscommunications, but I still need help here. What do you think I should do about it? In a sense, all of these are right in some way or another. The foreman should have investigated why she suddenly had an extra worker. Uh, but no real reason to make her work the shift alone as a result of a failure to investigate that. But that is something that should have been investigated anyway. Uh, but uh, yeah. I, Drexa technically already did Oxel's shift. Oxel hasn't done his shift, technically speaking. Because he apparently didn't do his original shift. I guess. So, yeah. Oxel caused the problem by trading shifts and not communicating proper, properly. It's his responsibility to work the shift. Uh, okay, I think the astrometrics is down here. Okay. I need to scan the route we'll take to the colony. But the Kazon attack has damaged our astrometric system. All it will tell me is how far off I am from our target position. I feel like I'm taking shots in the dark. Would you be willing to help me? Sure. By adjusting the sensor array's pitch, up and down, and yaw, left and right, you can point the array at the target. By adjusting the force, you can change the distance the array examines. Be sure not to overshoot the target location. The array will be useless if that happens. Okay, let's adjust it. Target must be within one kilometer for safe travel. Okay. And locking coordinates. Okay, Neelix. I can't thank you enough for your help. Dex is going to be fine. The doctors say she'll be up and around in no time. Glad to hear it, Neelix. I need to return to Voyager. Please escort the Talaxian fleet to New Talix. It'd be an honor, Admiral. We can return to Voyager at your earliest convenience. The Talaxians have much to do. Certainly, Admiral. Yep. Beam us out of here, or well, I guess technically just me and Tuvok. Since he still needs to get back to Voyager. Although Voyager is coming towards us, Voyager could have easily just flown here themselves and beamed him up, but whatever. They're moving again. I don't have to bring him to Voyager. Voyager could have even pick him up. Voyager getting too far away. Stay still. Thank you for all you have done for the Talaxians. I believe that they will be a valuable ally to us in the days ahead. That would not have been possible without your assistance. I am confident we will see one another again. Until then, live long and prosper. Peace and long life to you, Admiral. Our ships are ready to depart. Travel to the staging area to join us in our new adventure. On my way, Neelix. And don't know where Voyager's going. Are you ready to depart for New Talax? Yep, let's go ahead and warp to New Talax.
I'm detecting extremely high radiation levels in this system, too high for a normal dispersal pattern. I'll investigate further. But first, Neelix is hailing us from the Talaxian transport vessel. On screen. We'll check it out. You stay here with the fleet. Whoops, might have smacked into a shuttle. Let's go ahead and scan the radiation. Sir, there appears to be a high amount of theta radiation around the planet. Our scans indicate that it was recently placed here. It should not be an issue for us to remove them, but we would have to deal with whoever dumped the radiation in the first place. Neelix, do you have any idea who would do this? I'll deal with this, Neelix. Okay, we got a small Maidland fleet here. Let's go ahead and tell them to cut it out, otherwise we'll blow them up. Joking, of course. It's not a very Starfleet thing to do. Okay, how close do I have to get for you guys to be able to talk? There we go. Unknown vessel. This site is claimed by the Maelon. Go find your own dump site. The Talaxians have claimed this system. You need to find another place to dump your waste. Why? I was here first. Besides, there's a neutron star near here that makes this the perfect location for our needs. Finding another would be too expensive. Tell the Talaxians to find another planet. The Talaxians have been searching for years for a planet like their homeworld. We could assist you to find another dump site. The main line of cut communication, sir. They're powering up weapons, but they're not a match for the Odin. Red alert, target their engines. Destroying their ships will only make the radiation worse. This ship is so freaking slow to turn. I'm so used to my main flying around in the tier 6 constitution. That thing turns so quickly. We knocked out the engine, so how do we plan to get them out of the system exactly? Are we just going to tractor beam them out or something? Because they may not be inclined to leave. We okay, need to get away from you, so the tractor beam loses some of its effectiveness. This should be far enough away. Use the tractor beam again, not particularly effective. Of course, since we were in phases, we got lucky and knocked out their shields. Although it wasn't really useful at that point because we had already knocked down their shields on that front. Let's go ahead and hail the main line vessel. You've ruined me! Wrecked my ship! At least spare my life. Find another place to dump your trash. The Maelon are gone, but the radiation is still. Oh, what can we do? This would have been a perfect homeworld. But we can't live here if the radiation is going to affect the entire The Odin can easily remove the radiation. Give us a moment. I 
mean, I want to assume it can't necessarily get all of the radiation, realistically speaking. But I guess as long as you can get it within reasonable levels, you'll be okay. Now you just gotta make sure the Melon don't come back. Maybe keep a couple of Starfleet vessels here for a little while, just to deter the Melon, make sure they don't decide to come back as soon as we leave. It has been a pleasure, Neelix. Best of luck to you and your people. We have completed our mission, sir. We can leave as soon as you're ready. Let's depart the system. Oh, we didn't leave the parking brake on. Sometimes we manage to leave the parking brake on when we depart the system, so we end up leaving at impulse. We're causing problems. Hmm. I'll make a note of that. Hopefully, they'll just be a minor inconvenience. Admiral Janeway wasn't very impressed by them. Neelix has sent word that the migration of the Talaxians is going smoothly. We've sent several ships to ensure they're protected from any more Malon incursions. Our first venture into the Delta Quadrant appears to be a success. Technically speaking, it's the second. It's the first one undone on purpose, but it's technically the second venture into the Delta Quadrant. Uh, all these are crap. What supposed, supposedly has the highest value? Oh, they're all the same. It doesn't matter. Okay. And yeah, that's just crap. Hello. Would you have time to well, that's going to be it for this episode. I will see you all in the next one. Quick reminder, the channel is not part of the YouTube Partner Program, so if you enjoy the content on the channel, the Easiest and best way to help support the channel is to go and become a patron via my Patreon link down in the description. For as little as a dollar a month, you can get early access to all of my videos. Uh, that's going to be it for, like I said, this video. I will see you all in the next one. But until then, a goodbye and a farewell.